welcome back to my channel if this is your first time hello i have a special guest so you're in for a treat this is ya hi she is a fellow blogger i met her via social media she's super sweet and genuine she came all the way to dallas to meet with us and you and so we're excited we're gonna do a champagne talks sip and see makeup bag edition um so in the meantime if you want to check out her content, I highly suggest it. You can find her at Layered Lady. Yes. Um, both on IG and YouTube. That's yes. Layered Lady. So Layers. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so be sure to check that out. It's amazing. And if you're interested in seeing what this new episode is in for, keep watching. Yeah. Stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Yes. Hit that button and the notification bell because come on, you must be notified of all of her <laughs> awesome content. Please. Please. <laughs> <laughs> all right, guys, you know the drill. So we're about to pop some bottles, but I did want to give y'all this Cup. It's her first Aww. time in Texas, right? Yeah, it is my first so time. She knows that, you know, we like to drink down here, but <laughs> since she's going back to Chicago, I don't want her to be judged. So I got her a coffee mug that she can put any alcohol in. That she oh wants. my God, you're, it might be bubbling. <laughs> so we're all about the, the, the skies down here. So hilarious. Yeah. So you put your, your, your liquor in your coffee mug so yes. you conveniently get turned Absolutely. while looking so Absolutely. I love Texas already. <laughs> yes, I'm all about this. It is awesome. Oh my God, this is hilarious. Might be bubbly or it might be coffee. But right. You'll never know. You'll never know. So I'm just going to be like this. <laughs> and you guys are used to my purple cup, so we'll get us a little bubbly and let's get into this. So the Sip and See edition is going to be consisting of guests bringing on their makeup bags and then any items within their makeup bag that they have tried to use and it just hasn't worked out or they haven't even attempted to use because they're like intimidated or don't really know what steps to follow I want to go through those with you guys because that's happened so many times to me throughout my makeup evolution I have bought so many items that have just sat there and collected dust because I either tried it and did an extreme fail or it's just like I don't I, I bought this just because I thought it was good so we'll see okay. what tips we can give y'all with these products okay sounds good uh, we'll start with the bigger items first yes so I see she has Morphe. one of my favorites this is actually my favorite you guys know that because I use these palettes over and over but they, oh, she got a colorful one. I still have the plastic on it. I got scared. I thought it was cute when I purchased. Then I opened it and I'm like, what am I going to do with yellow eyeshadow? <laughs> what am I going to do with green? It's like we have a lot of pastels in here. Yeah. So, and they're all, let me see here. They're majority shimmer eyeshadows, which are also a little tricky to play with. So, I would suggest... Just like we did on your eye look today, I have a matte on the outer rim of your eye, and on the center, I have the shimmer. Okay. And that's where this would be the focal point. Okay. So you would never really have shimmer on the outer rim oh. of your eye unless you want to look like a good 90s day woman, of the, girls, I don't know. woman of the street, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> I'll say Golden Girl. She said woman of the street. Two different types of ladies. What is it called? Lady of the night? Lady of the night. Like, lady of the night. Sorry, I said woman of the street. <laughs> How much have you drank? You got more than I do. Okay. Rewind. Unless you want to look like a lady of the night, I wouldn't suggest putting the blue eyeshadow, blue shiny eyeshadow on the outer rim of the eye. So this would definitely be on top of the lid pop of color or inner okay. color pop of color. Okay. Inner corner, not inner color, inner corner pop of color. So Sounds either good. one of those options. But yeah, you could definitely play with that. Now I know how to use this because I was afraid. I was like, I don't want shimmer all over my lid. That's because it's really not supposed to be like that in this yes. case. Oh, and this one is one of my favorites. So this is the 35 OM Shine. Not, I'm sorry, so it's not OM. It's usually just 35 O. Okay. And it has all of these fall and neutral colors, and then it has a couple shimmer options for you. So there's like countless looks you can actually do with this. Okay. You can do an all matte eye, 
a matte cut crease, neutral cut crease, okay. a pop of color like we did for her today. You could do tons of looks with these. I love browns, I love neutral colors, uh, the oranges, the rusts. So this one is, I just see endless possibilities. Okay, yeah. perfect. So it's worth holding on to and not tossing. Absolutely, all things cool. morphe I feel like are worth holding on to, but you know, I might be a little biased. So now I have like two eyebrow things. One's a powder and one's some magic market marker. And I was like, ooh, I like markers. <laughs> I like drawing. So when I saw these, these just immediately reminded me of like draw. I was like, I think this is easy versus having to dip. I was drawn to the fact that I don't need like a brush per se, like these different pieces I got. It's like, okay, this is a powder. You just brush it on. I thought the idea of it being simple would be convenient for me in my life because I'm not the most handy with brushes. Okay. So I'm not sure if they're worthwhile. <laughs> now these are a little more questionable for me. Um, I have not experienced either one of these, but the marker is more so looking like you could get some work out of it because it does have the single strokes, um, which I like in a brow because it okay. makes it look more realistic. Now this brush powder, I don't know, because that's going to be a one swoop making a very solid image, which, you know, the more blocky you like, you know, is going to be less natural looking. Mm. And also it sort of looks like it should be liquid in this container. So I just honestly feel like it's a packaging fail as on top of a oh, technique fail. Okay. So even if you were to use it, I don't think you would get many uses out of it. Okay. Yeah. So that one might be a donation. Okay. <laughs> and then I've got two shimmers. Yeah. Which I guess I saw the shimmer. I see highlight everywhere. Everyone's like, Tch. looks like they got dumped their face in pixie dust. And I was like, <laughs> I want that effect. So I got these. Yes. So the NYX liquid illuminator is actually something that I use. It's Ooh. very comparable. It's the low end drugstore version of the MAC strobe cream okay. um, that we mix into our foundation. Ooh. So honestly, I use this two ways. I either put this on my face if it's a very natural day and it sort of like gives okay. me a metallic, like glowy look, and then I can put any concealer okay. on top of that and that can be my look for the day if I'm going for bare minimum. Ooh. Or if I want that same glowy look yeah. on a full beat, I add this to my liquid foundation and apply it together. Ooh, so you're saying mix it in. See, my thing is I was thinking when I took it out and put it on my hand, I'm like, I can't imagine that on my face. So mixing it yes. just to get almost like a sun-kissed, right. like a sun-kissed look. Right. It's okay. We're we're just throwing stuff today. <laughs> and so then we also have. So this one, it looks like it's a new brand for me. Oh, it's Wet n Wild. Okay, so I've actually been hearing um, some impressive things with Wet n Wild um, as of late. They've been stepping up their game. They're a very affordable drugstore product. Yeah. Um, so I imagine this would be of the same same technique as the NYX okay. liquid illuminator. So I would mix it in with my foundation. Absolutely. All right, wet for the low E days. Yeah, okay. give them a fair chance. I mean, I am always up to trying almost anything just to okay. see if it works, especially if it is cheap and you're like, and that isn't gonna work. What is $2, $4, $6 gonna mean at the end of the day? Maybe you come across something that's gonna be one of your favorites. Right. You know, and it's comparable to an expensive thing and now you can save a lot of money by going that route. Take a chance. Take a chance. All right. Last few things, I have like some random, like I don't know why I buy these individual things. And I also have an eyeshadow base, that's why I handed it to you at the same time. So I was like, what about this? So any eyeshadow can be used, it's just like, it's all about the formula on how beneficial it will be in pigmentation and the payoff. So some eyeshadows like Morphe, they are inexpensive, but they're good quality. You're gonna get color payoff. So instead of digging into the pan, like why mm -hmm. is this not showing up? It's going to pay off, but also the way you put on an eyeshadow can definitely change its payoff. So mm -hmm. for example, the other thing you handed me was a primer mm -hmm. and it's a white primer. So white primer is best for bright colors because it makes it pop. Um, for neutral colors, like if I put a white primer down and then I put a gray color on top, I'm yeah. sorry, a brown color on top of it, I'm gonna end up with a gray smoky look. Um, so this would be great if you wanted to do 
something orange, yellow, blue. That other, that palette, that, that first have. palette, that shimmer palette. This would be great for its use. Um, and this, again, you can put concealer under this, the same mm -hmm. color as your skin yeah. tone, or um, something lightly, like one or two shades lighter, and it will pop for you. Mm -hmm. Almost any eyeshadow will, except for you know the ones we usually buy our daughters to play with or something like that. Okay. Those are a little iffy, but okay. usually any eyeshadow with. I never have heard of Sudan though, so. Yeah, it's from Krylon. Oh, I'm sorry, that's the color. Yeah, that's the color. Sudan. Yeah, it's just like a, little, okay. it's like a little single. Okay. Well, I'm glad I learned that tip, because I've go. noticed that it does kind of go on gray when I put brown. I never knew with the white primer. Yeah. That explains why I stopped using they, it. They do <laughs> sell this in nude. So oh, they do wow. sell this okay. in another color, but I actually stopped buying these type of primers because I can use concealer to do the same thing. Um, the type of primers oh. that I do use for eye now are things that are going to focus on keeping it from creasing and keeping it fr like from moving. So Morphe has a great eyeshadow primer that's very strong mm -hmm. and MAC does as well. So those are some options for you. Okay, so technically in the future I should not even bother with that. I can just be more resourceful with my primers. Absolutely. Cool. Perfect. That, I have this last thing that I feel like a lot of people have seen this. It's the yes. Ben Nye powder. Yes. Banana powder. And I just saw it, banana, banana, banana all over Instagram. Use this powder, set, set, set. And I was like, okay, let me get some bananas. Let me set my face. <laughs> so what's the deal? I hope you didn't get real bananas. No, I didn't get real bananas. <laughs> I got the banana powder. So Ben Nye is actually, I've heard the same thing. Really amazing. Mm -hmm. I've personally never used it, but I can sort of like eyeball powders now and just the formula and the way it like moves the way it's like holding up when I'm shaking it, I think it would be a good resource for you. Okay. Um, it's comparable to the RCMA powder, I can already tell that. Um, personally, I bake with Laura Mercier and it's about $40 per jar. Do you remember how much you paid for this? It had to be like 25 to 30. So that's why I think more. it was such a big craze is because it looks like it has a good payoff just yeah. by what I'm seeing. Okay. And it's about half the price of Laura Mercier. Okay. About banana or if they have a translucent, I don't know. I would have to personally test that and you would have to test that based on your skin tone, okay. your skin um, undertones and see if it leaves you ashy or if it actually like is clear once you wipe it off. So we don't want flashback, we're anti-flashback. So basically in the future, if I was to make a purchase again, translucent would be better instead of like taking the risk and going with bananas and That's yellow colors and like ones that Absolutely. are close to my shade. Absolutely, cool. because it's That's hard awesome. to sort of match. Just imagine how hard it is matching foundation. Yeah. We already had that discussion earlier yeah. and there's so many more shades of foundation than there is of powder. So it's it's even harder to get lucky in that area, and I've been lucky with translucent, but it may not work for you. So I am I'm not the know all say all. I always suggest you try it for yourself. They may also still give you a tester of this in the store too. Don't hesitate to ask. Um, but yeah, I think it would be a good product for you to try out. Okay. As for baking, it's it's tricky. So if you um, want to bake, it's definitely a technique you should follow. I'll have okay. a separate tutorial on that versus setting, which setting is you're gonna get a loose brush and you're gonna dust this over your skin, continuously wiping on and off. You're not leaving that powder on your skin for more than two seconds at a time. Okay. Baking, you are gonna leave it there. It actually is creating heat from the layer of powder and the layer of your skin, mm -hmm. baking that makeup in between. So it's mm -hmm. definitely a, a technical mm -hmm. type of process. Yeah. And if you leave it on too little or too much, it can affect the overall look of your makeup. Okay, so that's good to know. So if I'm not an expert, I should just use it to set and then kind of maybe practice baking. Absolutely. Okay, Absolutely. cool. Perfect. And that's it. So Thank you. So you feel more informed? I feel totally informed. <laughs> I definitely learned a lot, especially with the white primer. Uh, the setting versus baking, I had no clue that there was really a difference. I thought they were synonymous. And definitely the tip with the shimmer shadows, it's good to know that, yeah, that fear that I had was correct. It's like a good little accent and then I probably in the future will refrain from getting every single little uh, part of the, of the makeup kit having shimmer, like maybe some flats 
and Absolutely. neutrals and a couple of shimmers. So I learned to just be more smart in yeah. the future when I buy versus just being mindless. Now that I have those <laughs> tips in my head, I'll remember not to make that mistake again. Yeah, yeah. but it's it's easy to do because makeup is pretty and we get super intrigued. Yeah. And so sometimes I will buy stuff and just go home and play with it. And sometimes it doesn't always work, but okay. don't be afraid to get in there and just practice. Nobody's perfect. Makeup is about fun. It's not about yeah. serious. You know, we all just have to learn our own ways and what works for us um, another thing with shimmer don't be afraid to use your fingers I always find that the best payoff is when I am rubbing that shimmer mm -hmm. on a concealed eyelid um, and it picks up the most beautiful pigment so okay. the payoff when you do it that way is awesome um, damp sponges those okay. type of things even with a highlight shimmer if you use a damp sponge mm -hmm. and swiftly like brush that against mm -hmm. your skin it gives a more skin like glow so it's much more natural it's just small things like that can make okay. all the difference i'll try that out yeah so Yay. yes i'm hoping you guys enjoyed the video hope you learned some tips and tricks and yes. we will do more of these videos i feel like they were very informative so yeah we will um be back with more episodes and leave any comments down below on what questions you have and maybe i can help you out all right, guys, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time. Bye. Bye.